Hello again, welcome back to our series of Wild Dream tutorials. Today we'll be discussing how we can construct our own traffic lights. So basically I've got three LEDs here prepared to signal the traffic lights for the cars, two LEDs here prepared to signal the traffic lights for the pedestrians and a button here for the pedestrians to use. Now to improve the wiring and for you to be able to see this better, what I've done basically is with the LEDs, the pins which are supposed to be connected to the ground, I've just connected on one very long row here at the bottom. So all of their pins are connected here and I'm just going to connect this to the ground. Okay. Each of these are going to be assigned one of the pins, so I'll just start here and then the next one and then the next one. The situation is the same basically with these LEDs. So they're just going to go here and here. With the button, basically you need to connect this one to the 5 volts pin over here and also grounded through a resistor that is connected here on the same row as the LEDs. This one also needs to be connected to one of the pins here so I'll connect it on pin 2. That way we'll be able to know when it's sending out a zero signal or one. Okay, let's get back to the interface. I'll just connect my board so that it's ready when we need it. Here we go, let's create a new application called Traffic Lights. Make sure it's a visual programming project. Click Submit. I find its name and click it. We don't need to print anything on the screen for now. So basically we need to go to Referrals, LED and set LEDs on and off. The first one we're going to need to work with is pin number 11 as well as pin number 10. These would be this one which says that the cars are free to pass and this one, the red one, which says that the pedestrians should be waiting. Okay, both of these should be on. And then we go into program and add a little bit of logic. So what happens if, for instance, we have a digital read on pin number two. So just add one of these numbers here. So what happens if pin two, go back to logic, is equal to the signal 1, which is the high signal. What this means is basically someone's pressed the button. From now on we need to stop the cars, wait a bit, let the pedestrians pass, have the intermittent uh, green light for the pedestrians run for uh, 5 seconds and then set the red light for the pedestrians and the green uh, traffic lights for the cars as well. Okay, so let's go here we need to set the LED off on pin 11, the first things first, then set it on on pin 12. This actually turns the yellow light on. We then have to add a slight delay, so go here to timing and delay for maybe two seconds. Then continue setting LEDs on. This would be pin number 13. And before we do that, we have to turn the, uh, the yellow light off. So I'm going to set pin 12 off. Then what do we need to do? We need to add a little bit of a delay here. then let the pedestrians pass. So I'm going to set pin number 10 off and pin number 9 on. 
this will actually allow the pedestrians to pass. So set it on. Okay, carrying on here, we have to wait a little bit. So add a little bit of a longer delay so that people can actually pass. And then let's start a loop here and do this. We're going to set pin 9 on and off so that this gives them a signal saying hurry up, hurry up. And we just need a little bit of a delay in between them, so say 500 milliseconds. Make sure you change this, you don't want to wait 500 seconds. And copy this delay over. We can actually make this shorter, 250 milliseconds. Okay, then we need to carry on, so basically once that's over, we need to tr finally turn pin number 9 off. We need to set uh, pin number 10 on. Okay, then we need another slight delay, so another 500 milliseconds here in between the time it takes for the last pedestrians to cross. Then we go back to pins 10 and 12 and turn them on. Turn the light on uh, pin 13 off, then wait another second. Let me just copy this block over. And then we're back where we started with pins 11 and 12 turned on and respectively off. Just the reverse of the initial situation. Okay, we just have to add everything into a loop that repeats every second and we're good to go. My board is connected so let's just see what we have here. As I was saying initially the cars are free to go, the pedestrians have a red light, and then I press the button, and here we go. Now the last pedestrians have to cross the street, and then we're back to a green light for the cars. Thank you for watching.